In my opinion, Android 12 on the Pixel 6 is the best that Android has looked in a long time. The UI is really clean and it has its own style that gives us a deeper connection to our home screen than usual. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pixel 6 phone of any kind to enjoy this experience on. I hope to join the Pixel community someday, but in the meantime, I have been using the Launcher 12 launcher to bring that modern look of Android 12 to all of the older phones that are currently in my rotation. All of these phones I intend on giving a modern 2022 review at some point, so please feel free to stick around for that. But yeah, I've been using Launcher 12 for about two months across several of these devices now, and I think for the foreseeable future with any other phones I use, this is going to be my go-to launcher. Personally, I really like how easy it is to get a good home screen going. By default, you are getting almost all the features the Pixel 6 has and is basically, for better or for worse, a more customizable Pixel launcher in every way. There are a ton of options, and for those of you who want to customize, there are a ton of different ways to build your home screen almost exactly how you want it to look. Of course, there is nowhere near the level of customization you get from Nova Launcher, but for people who want to make a wide variety of basic tweaks, this launcher has your back. There are so many different options, and honestly, there's much more than I'm invested in, but the biggest ones that I'd like to mention here are the dark mode, manually selecting accent colors, the icon pack support, ability to hide apps, home screen rotation, and a lot more. On top of that, you also get the built-in Google feed, which is my personal favorite source for quick five second glimpses of news and information. I really do hate being fed content by the quote unquote algorithm, and I really try to avoid it when possible, but for Google feed, I'll pretty much always make an exception. Whether it's pulling info from news sites or subreddits, they normally do a great job getting content in front of me that I'm interested in. So for me, the Google feed is the way to go, but if not, you have an option to turn it off, which is pretty nice. Getting in a compatibility and performance for a bit, this launcher has been incredibly fast across every device I've installed it on. Whether it's an old school flagship or a modern day budget phone, a two year old phone or a five year old phone, the performance with launcher has always been spot on. The animations play at a high frame rate and look super smooth. Hopping in and out of apps is a breeze and for me, there's no noticeable impact in either battery life or overall device performance. And while this launcher has been stable for about 99% of the time, every now and then, I bump into a bug or issue that makes me remember that this is an alpha build. Right now, the biggest issue is the split screen function on Samsung phones. You could start the split screen session like usual, but as you can see, trying to close the session results in an immediate crash and then follows by me basically having to restart my device to get the launcher working correctly again. Alongside that, even though gestures work perfectly fine on my Galaxy S8, many users are reporting issues with gestures on their newer Android devices that mainly use gesture support. According to the community, this is a manufacturer issue instead of a launcher issue. And thankfully, I don't use split screen or gestures enough to have an actual impact on my usage, but of course, I still felt it was important to bring up anyway. Finally, this is another quick aspect of this launcher I wanted to bring up that is equally as important as the rest in my opinion, and that's the community surrounding it. The launcher subreddit is a small community of users that are obsessed with creating and sharing home screens while subliminally showing off how powerful Launcher 12 really is. So many users post quite often and they're always sharing the specific details of their setup in the comments, which is really helpful for me as a tech enthusiast who is busy and doesn't want to spend a ton of hours customizing and tweaking. I just want to quickly find the information I need, replicate it on my home screen, and call it a day. If you're interested in this launcher, I would highly recommend taking a look at the subreddit because they are able to get the creative juices flowing and help you generate some fresh ideas. At the end of the day, this launcher fits my use case perfectly and I couldn't help but want to share it with you guys. When I think of this launcher and the features that benefit me, my first go-to features are the Pixel 6 style aesthetics, speedy performance, and most importantly, how easy I can get a home screen put together that I am happy with. Because of those few things, I think a lot of people would enjoy using this launcher as well, which is a shame because it's currently not on the Play Store at the moment. I think because it's an alpha, you can only download the launcher from the developer site. Thankfully for you guys, I made an installation video a few weeks back and you can see a link to that somewhere on the screen but yeah guys with that said thank you so much for bearing with my previous pokemon related uploads just being honest with you with the galaxy s22 and the pixel 6 coming out there wasn't really much in the tech world that i could talk about since clearly the new cycle was revolving around those two phones and that's obviously a hot topic at the moment of course thankfully though it seems like the new phone hype is dying down and that's awesome because i have a few retrospective reviews coming up for things like the galaxy s8 and the Razer phone too. So if you want to see those videos, stick around, subscribe, and just keep an eye out for that. But I'm getting out of here, guys.
guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Jordan Floyd, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.